So this is the customer life cycle. Now it's a representation of a customer life cycle. It describes an axis of value there over time. And it'll start off low and hopefully, in fact, it'll start off negative because it's costing you money to acquire a customer. Typically, you will be buying that customer in. And your objective really is to drive the value that you get from the relationship with that customer up as quickly and as far as possible up the curve here. And keep it up at that level for as long as possible. But a typical life cycle will be that at some point in time that value will decay, potentially. Your task is to extend that as much as possible. Or at least manage that decay. And if they do leave you and drop off, then your next task is to work out which ones you want to get back and how to do it. So through the customer life cycle, there are marketing objectives that you want to achieve. Efficiency in terms of the acquisition, in terms of the costs that, costs that you are outlaying. The effectiveness of cross and upselling to drive that value up as quickly as possible. Control and getting the right decisions made in terms of retention. Making sure you're retaining the ones you want to retain. And then using analytics to understand what happened in that previous relationship and how much value you got from that previous relationship and say, do I want more of that or actually don't I mind it? Now the actual shape of the curve will differ, and it does differ from one industry to another, but it's classically about that sort of shape. So these are some of the questions. These are some of the, the things that you need to be asking here. So in the acquisition, you're looking to try and find people who are going to deliver you value in the same way as you've realized from your previous group of customers. You need to ask and identify which customers have the high probability for responding to your marketing campaigns and through which channels. Which customers might be at risk and identify the churners and work out which ones are vital for you as an organization to retain because they drive value. And then which ones should we reinvest in? Because it is a reinvestment and again it's going to make a loss at the win-back stage, which ones to reinvest in? So that's the basics around what analytics is there to do.